it's blue. Again. And again. So passenger hang passenger bank head gasket blue. I am over here. Wow. That's awful. It's over there now. 16 hours ago, I had this thing torn down to its skivvies, pulled the head off, put a new gasket on, checked the deck, checked the head. Everything was flat according to Mr. Straight Edge. So, must be okay. We're praying. <laughs> praying. Things that I learned doing head gaskets this time that most people really don't take the time to look at. So, I use torque to yield bolts again because I'm cheap and the fact that I'm not gonna take the other side apart to put ARP studs in it. And I'm definitely not gonna run it with just one side with studs because that would just be weird. So, here's where I'm at. When I had this thing apart, I checked the deck. Seems pretty straight with my handy dandy straight edge. Check the head, seemed pretty straight with the handy dandy straight edge. Clean the holes, did the whole shoot match, put it all back together, no coolant pressure, it's great. But, Something I want to talk about is people that use torque to yield bolts, they work fine. Casper still has the stock ones in it from General Motors in 1999. I've beat the living daylights out of that thing and it hasn't lifted the head yet. So I'm not convinced the head studs are a necessary evil. But in this case, I can't say this was a fault of bolts, torque, etc. But something I want to say is if you follow the torque to yield instructions from Molly and or Generous Monsters, GM, you realize that, well, 60 foot pounds plus 90 degrees is 125 foot pounds. Or 50 foot pounds torqued with another 90 degrees is 110. So, you guys that are running ARP head studs torqued under 90 foot pounds that are blowing head gaskets, you really need to consider going to 120, 125 foot pounds. Otherwise, you're going to continue to blow head gaskets and continue to be frustrated. So, yes, I took the time to test this on this particular engine. Yes, it did end up being 90 degrees. Yes, it ends up about 125 foot-pounds. So, if you want to keep the heads on your truck, go to 125 foot-pounds. It'll save you a lot of heartache in the long run. So, that being said, I'm going to let him sit. I got a couple of small leaks to fix. I'm going to get those tidied up this afternoon. And then, we're going to go for a drive. And we're going to see how he does. So... That's something I just wanted to elaborate to you guys is torque spec. Yes, ARP says 90. Yes, everybody and their mom says 90. No, it's 125. That's a big difference. That's a lot of, a lot of torque. So anyways, that being said, torque your heads to 125 foot pounds. Don't torque them to 90 because you'll be doing them again and again and again and again. Because um, one of our current followers actually just had his head studs done and he already lifted a gasket. And his truck is set up actually similar to this, but not as much go-go juice. So that being said, that's pretty discouraging. And he paid a shop to do it, which is even worse. So if you're doing this at home and you're like me and you get the gumption to want to do this in 16 hours, then by all means, it's okay. Torque them whatever you want. So that being said, torque them right, take your time, clean the deck, I have a whole bunch of videos I'm going to compile and kind of clip together, and that way you guys can see what I was doing with this. Um, this was more of a fun video because I just wanted to show people that I was doing it again. And that being said, it's done. It's together. It's a freaking truck, man. Look at this thing. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I like the color too. But anyways, I'll compile a bunch of videos for you guys. I'm going to take it for a drive later. And... Uh, yeah, you might see it at Rudy's. You might not. Thanks, everybody. Okay. Blue Mark II. Again, passenger bank head gasket. Again, because blue sucks. More like I'm afraid the deck's warped on the block. But we'll figure it out. And I have a shake. So, we're going to start turning this thing apart. Because I have a shake. And it's Friday! All right, as you can see, teardown has definitely commenced. You need to pull the upper intake, pull a crossover pipe off the uh, old exhaust manifold, and take the valve cover off. 
Injector lines are off at the injector, but they need to be pulled from the pump. Coolant crossover needs removed. And then I can get down to the head. So hypothetically, half an hour in the morning and I should be able to get this bad boy out of here. Tonight I'm gonna rest and take it easy since I'm still having breathing issues after my lung infection. So that's where we're at. Blue Mark II passenger head, head gasket again. All right, continuing disassembly. As you can see, look at that. No more valve cover. So valve cover's off. I gotta do the crossover pipe crown to the truck. Push rods are out. Thanks Lena's Pizza for the excellent uh, push rod holder. That means labeled where it's supposed to be. That being said, I'll crawl into the truck. I'm gonna do this crossover pipe. Untorque the head bolts in reverse pattern. And then once my helper wakes up, we'll uh, go ahead and get this head off. Hey look, heads out. What do we have here though? That's a very strange mark. I'm willing to put money that that's probably where it blew. Oh, I got one of those marks back here, too. Wait a sec. It's sunny and beautiful here in Michigan. Cylinder head. Head gasket. What's this? Oh, that's probably not good. It's probably blown. Oh, what's this? Oh, look. I pushed the ceiling around by the firing. So... I would say, yep, gasket's bad. Um, why it's bad, I guess I'll have to clean the deck and find out. All right, deck is nice and clean on the head. Looks almost new, good and spiffy. <clears throat> Block deck is cleaned, good to go here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit everything with brake clean once, get the new head, or get the new gasket rather, get the new hardware, get it out here, and uh, proceed with putting the head back on. So hopefully in the next hour, head's back on and the first torque sequence is complete. All right, so look at this. We have cylinder head. So blocks prepped, heads prepped, new gasket, new hardware. We're gonna let it sit for an hour, do a retorque on it. And then I'll probably go ahead and after the retorque, Start to reassemble, get the rockers on, push rods in, and valve cover back on. And then start the full reassembly and get the rest of the top end of the engine on. So, making progress. Head is on. Hopefully this uh, solves all of our issues since the issue was just a fluke thing. Gasket pop. Not a whole lot I could do about it. And, uh, yeah. It'll uh, be back, hopefully, making engine sounds tomorrow. So 12 hours ago, this had a blown head gasket and it was roughly in about the same state of assembly as you see here. Now it has a new head gasket, deck cleaned, everything else is taken care of. So I think I'm gonna pack up my tools for the night and in the morning I'll get the turbo installed, finish the exhaust, get the pulleys on, fill her up with coolant and uh, we'll hear it run. So here's to hoping that I've solved all my life issues with blue and that uh, it'll be a good runner. So tomorrow we'll hear it. Turbo's on, upper intake, exhaust side is on, downpipe adapter, triple crossover pipeway back there. So now I just gotta shove the AC on this thing, get the belt on, get the radiator on, hook the batteries up, fill up with coolant, and uh, I'll be out making boosty sounds. So make it some progress this morning. Now for a test drive, now that I've done three heat cycles with it, 
There's no leak, so everything looks pretty good. So I'm gonna see how it does. I'll check the fuel pressure when I get home with it. So yeah, blue's back. Now we'll see how long it lasts. new GSC. You match the truck. Good Samaritans Club. Ha! Ha! <laughs> Actually, Ginger Snap Customs because the rest of it sucks. So yeah, check this out. Okay, so we made some, there you go, thank you. We've made some new shirts. We're just trialing these. They've got a, if Cortland can't ruin them, we will be bringing them to you shortly. Uh, the goal is that he's got to make them through uh, the trucks. Me, on the other hand, I can just wear them and mine don't get destroyed because, well, I don't do these. So, he's trialing. They've made it through the wash cycle. They've made it through the ironing cycle. We're good. But now they just gotta stand all of this. So, what's your thought? Do you like them? It's cozy. Fits my man boobs well. Fits the rest of me well. Dad bod without the dad. It's great. Perfect shirts. Love them. So, you'll be seeing a couple more of these. We've done three different designs and, uh, You'll see you in this week. Hopefully. So. See you soon. Bye.